Hi everyone, uh, hi seventh graders. Uh, welcome to your second project of the semester. This is the uh, wire action figure project. We are going to jump right into doing some 3D work um, because I wanted to uh, get that experience right off the bat. So 3D is gonna be very different than working in 2D, which is uh, more like drawing and painting. 3D is working three-dimensionally. Uh, so we are going to be working with wire and tape and tin foil to create wire action figures that represent an action that represents you. So a little bit uh, of identity work here, I want you to think about an action that would best represent you. So maybe that is running, or maybe it's sitting and reading a book, um, or doing yoga, or playing on the iPad. An action can be anything. It can be um, something very physical, or it could be something just um, holding something or doing something a little more quiet. So we're gonna learn a little bit about um, the anatomy in terms of what is a proportionate sculpture. Um, you're gonna learn a little bit on how to manipulate and work with wire. Um, and we'll probably uh, spend some time looking at some artists that, that work in 3D um, to give you that exposure. And that's gonna be pretty much it. I'm, I'm gonna get more into it as, this, as the week goes on, but um, so one of the essential questions I want you to think about is how is communication through 3D form compared to 2D form? What's the difference? Um, what's, what's challenging about it and, and what um, is the same? Uh, what challenges or advantages take place when working in 3D? You'll notice that it's very different than drawing and painting. Um, and I just want you to sort of take note of what, what kinds of things are working um, and what's challenging. So those are some things to keep in mind, and um, I think this is going to be a really fun project, and I hope you guys enjoy it.